Uh, this is Miss Lina Aude and this is English Grade 11. Today is our weekly videos, weeklies, which is week number two for Grade 11. We're still in the same unit because it's going to take us about a month and, and more. So um, at the first unit, as we said before, is writing freedom. We have already introduced it and we have already introduced all the topics that will be given this week. So let's give it a start. Uh, for the first two days, we're going to take grammar subject verb agreement i know it might e look easy but it's not because it's going to have um because you're going to be having great command of subject and verb agreement after you finish the class and you're going to ensure using them while writing and speaking you will apply knowledge uh, of language to understand how language functions in different contexts in, and if, uh, to make effective choices for meaning or style and to comprehend more fully when reading or listening you will acquire and use accurately general and specific rules for subject verb agreement and its antecedents. Some of the key terms we will learn in this lesson are subject verb agreement, phrases, clauses between subjects and verbs, indefinite pronouns, compound subjects, inverted subjects, and collective nouns. This way we will know most of the rules for subject verb agreement. For days three, four, and five, we will start writing argumentative essays. It will take us time, but you will be able to excel this skill of writing after the four days. The lesson objectives is writing argumentatives or writing arguments to support claims in an analysis of substantive um, topics or text, text uh, using valid reasoning and relevant and sufficient evidence. You will develop claims and counterclaims fairly and thoroughly. You will supply the, uh, the anticipates of uh, the audience knowledge level and concerns. Most relevant evidence for each while pointing out the strengths and limitations of both in a manner that anticipates the audience's knowledge level, concerns, values, and possible biases. You will establish and maintain a formal style and objective tone while attending to the norms and conventions of the discipline in which they are this a particular skill will be broken down into four classes. I know it's a bit much, but it, this has to be done in the very beginning until you master the skill. Uh, the first class will be the introduction, the his statement. The second class will be the body paragraph, which is the peel model, about two paragraphs. The counterclaim and rebuttal, which is one solo paragraph. And the last paragraph is conclusion. And then we're going to have time to prove Read it. The words that will be taught in this particular skill is, or I'm sorry, argumentative essays, grabber hook, thesis statement, counter argument or counter claim, rebuttals, opposing views, and conclusion. These are mostly based on writing. So first you will start with introduction. Uh, and body par uh, and then body paragraphs and then the counterclaims in these part in this particular week um, in the following week we will uh, go on with with, uh, with the conclusion and all thank you so much for listening we'll meet you next time